Hi, my name is Dave Cuthbertson. I'm a director at Acigen, and I'm going to take you through in this video how our Module 3 Diagram Linker works as part of our Visio Utility Suite. The Diagram Linker is designed to create drill down diagrams automatically to allow you to drill into more levels of greater levels of detail and to be able to organize diagrams and layouts in groups. You can use it for both physical and logical diagrams, and I'll show you examples of both in this video. We'll start with a physical diagram where I'm looking at a floor plan, and you may have seen this in some of the other modules, where I want to drill into, say, rack number three, uh, this one here, so actually then to be able to see the rack layout, so I can go to a greater level of detail as part of understanding the information and all the components that actually bring together and make up this data center. To do this manually is quite painful, and so you'll then see the benefit of our automation. To do this manually, I'll do a right click, to edit the hyperlinks. I would do a new hyperlink and browse to the file that I want to go to, in this case a local file, and I'm going to go to Birmingham Rack Diagrams, open. I'm going to browse to a sub-address which is effectively a tab within there, in this case tab number three, okay, and then I'm going to give it a name. cabinet diagram, doing OK. And I've now created a hyperlink, so if I hold down the control key and do a left click, you'll see that we have a hyperlink here with cabinet diagram. And if I click on this, now do a left click, this will open up that Visio file and take us to rack number three. And as you can see, there's multiple tabs. If I have 20 racks, this becomes quite laborious. If I have 100 or 1,000 or 5,000 racks, this becomes very, very limiting. It's a great feature. So we invented the diagram linker to do this automatically for you. This is how it works. Uh, I'll just remove that hyperlink that we just created there. So we're now back to the beginning. And the way to do this automatically is to go to the AssetGen Utilities, choose the diagram linker option called Link to Subdiagrams, and we will scan all the shapes on there and come up with all the different properties in the shapes and as default, it goes to cabinet name because this is so convenient and useful uh, if you uh, use things like the Acigen system where all the name is going to be consistent. It's given us a prefix. We could change that if you wish. And then we just browse to one or a number of files. So I'm going to browse to the Birmingham Rack Diagrams. Do open. And then hit the link button. And that will scan through every one of the shapes there. Look in the target file and then match them up. And as you can see, it's added 39 hyperlinks to diagram shapes. So if I looked at uh, rack number four and I clicked on there, you'll see we've got a cabinet diagram. And if I click on that, that takes us directly to rack number four. And so it's done it for all 39 racks in this data center. So that's one example. And as you can see, if you have one or 100, it doesn't make a difference, it'll work. Let's show you a different example. Here I have a typical logical diagram where I'm showing the physical locations of offices. And in this case, I've got two tabs. I've got one for the UK and I've got one for European offices. And I can use the diagram linker to link down to network diagrams of each of those. So if I go to the diagram linker, link to sub diagrams. Let's choose a property and we're going to use the office name. We're going to give it a title of network diagram. And when I browse and I look to link to various files, I'm going to link to one called European Offices. Hold down the control key, link to Northern and Southern Region diagrams. So I may have multiple sets of diagrams that I want to link to because they could be very big. And so we want to break them down. And we will now scan across and look for a match of every office name with every one of those uh, files with the network diagrams. I'm going to go link. And so this is scanning through everything. So we can have a top level directory of states, countries, and we've now added seven hyperlinks. If I go back to the UK and I hover over Birmingham, we'll now see that's taken us directly into a tab called Birmingham in the Southern Region Network Diagrams. Very simple, very easy. So this diagram linker, we can actually extend and go further. So here I have a network diagram showing core switches and edge switches. If I wanted to drill down into more detail to show the layout of these, 
we can use the diagram linker to go further detail. So let's go to link to sub diagrams. What are the various shapes called on that page? So we can link it to various links, ports, and others. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the equipment name and I'm going to call it uh, layout diagram. And I'm going to browse to a different file called Birmingham Crawl Switches. And wherever it founds a match between a name on the diagram of any of those switches and the layouts, it will link. So if I do link, it scans across. We found five hyperlinks. And we can see there's five core switches at the top. If I go to uh, Birmingham core switch number two and click on that, you'll now see it's opened up the core switch layouts where I have all the different layouts with all the cards. And we can see here it's selected the core two tab. So I can always then go and then see the differences in the layouts of the various switches. And of course, you could take this further and drill into each card and see more details. It's up to you to how to use this, but it allows you to take big diagrams and break them into small ones. To explore more about the use of Visio, we offer online and on-premise training through our sister company, Square Mile Systems, where we have a focus on IT systems and infrastructure diagramming. So it's not, you could say, basic Visio training. It's more for the IT specialists. And to move on to full Visio automation, where diagrams are drawn for you on a large scale and maintained and updated, have a look at our asset gen system, where we can cover the various technologies all the way from the physical to the logical infrastructure.